Hi everybody, my name is Matt. And I'm Sarah. We're from Rapid Fire Theatre, and right now we are standing outside of the Strathcona Exchange Building, also known as the Telephone Historical Information Center. Also known as Rapid Fire Theatre's new home. That's right, for the next 40 years or so, we're gonna call this building home. And uh, before we start doing some of the serious renovations, turning this old museum, old phone exchange center into a theater, we wanted to show you what it looks like right now. Come on in. Right now we're standing in the main entrance of, uh, of the building of what was the phone information center or the telephone museum. Um, and you can see a lot of the details of the museum are still here. And eventually, once we start this beautiful project of ours, we are gonna be highlighting some great artists right here in this space. Maybe a mural of sorts? Who yeah. knows? Yeah, this will for sure be the main entrance to the building. Let's see the rest of it. This is the shared space that we have between us and TELUS. And actually, all of the internet for Strathcona is right behind us. Yeah, that's right. Our landlords, TELUS, still use a good chunk of this building for the infrastructure for their services throughout mm -hmm. the area. Such as the University of Alberta Hospital. Yeah. Cool. All right, now we are standing inside what is left of the old museum. Mm -hmm. um, for many years, the space specifically right here has been used as a venue during the Edmonton International Fringe Theatre Festival. Hmm. And it also featured really cool exhibits about telephones, and there's some pretty wacky things to find in this space. Yeah, one of my favorites is right over here. There's a giant hole in the floor. <laughs> what will we do with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For many years, the Telephone Historical Information Center set up these wonderful little puppet shows in this space, and we were so stoked to see this beautiful crushed velvet curtain. Yeah, there's some really cool details in this space, and we hope to use a lot of them in our designs as well. But get a load of this! Crushed velvet? This office space is extremely important to me because it was actually my own grandfather's office space here in the building, and it's hosted many folks along the way. Yeah, including the Edmonton Pride Festival Society. Now, Sarah, uh, there's a fun fact about that mural up on the wall. You want to tell us about there that? There sure is. Uh, so there was a costume of this robot named Zeldon. And back in the day, my grandfather used to dress up as Zeldon and go to the Edmonton Fringe uh, when there was a kid's fringe. And it's just kind of amazing to see it on the wall. Okay, so it might not look like much right now, but the space in which we are currently standing could very well be the stage of our future theater. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, this space that we're standing in right now is actually gonna be turned into a really funky space for our artists to come and hang out after the show. Totally, right now you are backstage. So this is very cool. Uh, right now we're standing outside of the cable vault. Mm -hmm. Now, when this part of the building was a telephone exchange center, uh, the cables for the telephones from all over the neighborhood would come to this building through tunnels underground into this room right here. Come take a look. It's very creepy. Yeah, right now, the, the trench that I'm currently standing on is that vault. It's the cable vault where, again, the old... <laughs> <laughs> The trench that I'm currently standing above is the trench through which all the telephone uh, lines for the neighborhood would come through uh, about a hundred years ago. This space here is going to house our classes, as well as our rehearsal spaces for our own performers. And for our corporate events, you can come on in and take a workshop with our really amazing guest. That's it. Thanks so much for joining us for this quick tour of the former phone museum. For the latest updates on our exciting renovation project, as well as info on how you can help Rapid Fire Theatre make this project a reality, visit rapidfiretheatre.com.